If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Mark Twain Testing, t testing, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. This is the Miss Woodhouse channel coming to you live from Hartfield University. That should be your new intro. I like it. Give that to me. I'm fine. I'm Emma Woodhouse, and today we have Mr. Frank Churchill again. So. He's going to be giving us the news report. So what's been happening recently, Frank? Well, recently, as the audience knows, we went to a very strange Christmas party where everyone was ooing and aahing over a very special surprise gift. Also, we saw the very elegant Miss Jane Fairfax, whose uh, clothing choice was very, um, horrendous. Be nice. <laughs> so true. <laughs> but seriously, Jane should have known it was a funky Christmas sweater party. I mean, who shows up wearing all black? To be fair, she was wearing a very nice purple headband. Yeah, can't forget that. As if she weren't getting enough attention from her surprise gift, she had to top it all off with a purple headband. Who do you think got her the keyboard, by the way? I mean, I know we talked about it some, but I got sidetracked with Anne. She's got this crazy idea in her head. I think the Dixons gave it to her. But do you really think that the Dixons could have afforded to send it from England? <laughs> this is the 21st century, Emma. I mean, there are very good websites you can order keyboards from and have them shipped wherever you want. I googled it when I found out she got one. So what crazy idea has Anne got into her head? Anything our audience might find more interesting than Jane's secret admirer? Actually, it has to do with Jane's secret admirer. Mm -hmm. Anne thinks she knows who it is. Really? Who does she suspect? Anne thinks it's George. <laughs> well, that's an interesting theory. Yeah, but it's, it's totally wrong. I mean, George doesn't even like her like that. Yeah. I mean, he's not skeptical of her like I am, but He's not our best friend either. George is only nice because he knows that Jane isn't very good at making friends. She's too shy for it. He's just being friendly, that's all. Yeah. Uh, do you think she likes him? I don't know if she's capable of liking anyone. She seems like she's a little cold for that. Well, she's not funny or outgoing like the great Emma Woodhouse. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. Maybe. So are we going to practice our karaoke so we don't sing so much next year's Christmas party? I don't think you need to. However, I might need to practice for next year. But we need to finish this video first. Naturally. Mind if I close the episode? Not a bit. Well, everyone, thank you for tuning in on this broadcast on James Love Life, and we'll tune in next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Have a stupendous day. Bye! What she said.